good morning. It is, I think it's like seven o'clock in the morning, maybe 7.30. <laughs> um, I've been up since four. If you don't watch my Instagram, I tend to get up at four, though the last few days I have been having such weird, crazy things about sleeping. Hold on. I try to wake up at four just because I really like being up early and getting a lot of stuff done. Every day I kind of go through and write what happened the day before. And so that usually takes up a little bit of my morning, maybe 30 minutes to 45 minutes. And then this morning I got some Depop packages wrapped up and ready to ship out. And then I have some apples in the oven making apple chips. And I actually sliced my thumb open this morning at like six in the morning. <laughs> so a lot has happened already today. But while I wait for the apples to come out of the oven, I wanted to just film this really quick because today I'm feeling very motivated to go to the thrift store. I'm feeling like I really want to sew some more clothes. And so today I wanted to go to the thrift store and look for maybe some fabrics or something. I like to find, sometimes I find the most hideous clothes but the fabric is really fun, so I will buy the clothes and then I will come home and I will Frankenstein them into something completely new. Otherwise, <laughs> this is very sound of music of me, but a lot of times I find curtains that have fun fabric, or not fun, I keep saying fun fabric, but like good fabric, maybe it's linen or it's like, it's just, some of them tend to be like really nice earthy tones, so, I'll find those curtains and then I will, they come in nice big bolts. So it's like buying a bolt of fabric from the, the craft store, except you're buying it from the thrift store and you're not buying new stuff. I'm kind of over going to stores where I'm buying things new. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I'm having so much more fun going to like thrift stores and repurposing things or giving them new life. I'm just really liking things that are a little bit more original these days, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to the thrift store today. I'm not the kind of person who likes to take my camera along out in public just because I I feel so weird, you know, filming in public, especially if I'm alone. Uh, power to the people who can do that. So I'm going to go to the thrift store and then I will show you what I got and how I picked it and what I'm going to do with it. Cool. Okay. So I'm really bad at filming everything on the same day, <laughs> apparently, um, especially after I go to the thrift store because all I want to do is play with the new junk that I just bought. So first I found this cute little lacy tank top guy. Almost every time that I see one of these, I pick it up and I buy it because they are like the perfect little staple for just tucking into shorts, classing up an outfit. Uh, let me wave this around a little bit more. This one was specifically really nice just because the color is like a really nice kind of nude caramely color. Oh, it's got stains on it. Well, they're not very noticeable. <laughs> so I picked that up. It's really nice with your shorts. Um, I bought this oversized shirt thing, and from here, it's not very flattering, but it's got long sleeves and square pockets, which I really like. It's kind of like an earthy yellow tone which I've been really into earthy tones lately, uh, if you couldn't tell. So um, this, I, I really love oversized things. So I try to buy things like this that I'll either kind of wear to the beach or throw over kind of plain outfit. Like, I feel like it's something I could even just like throw on over this outfit that I have on right now. I really like these oversized shirts just because they're like the perfect lightweight thing to throw on in the summer. I'm super boring. Um, I really just love white and tan and I'm so predictable. This shirt I found and I was like, at first I was like, I don't, it's just a white shirt. But then I picked it up and I was looking at it and I was like, oh, the collar is kind of interesting. So it's like a super long collar and it kind of just looks a little bit more classic and a little older, I guess. Instead of it just being a plain white shirt, it kind of turns into this, this thing with like a collar. Oh my god.
Where is the next like beige or white thing? Found this uh, in the video clip where I was modeling it. It's um, It started out as this like kind of longer, almost dress thing. Definitely wasn't a dress though, not on me. Um, maybe it might've been like a little kid dress. I'm not actually sure. It looks like it could have been like a child size thing, but uh, it also could have been just like a really long shirt. I really don't like that style. I, it's a little too like, Luffy. If it was like the right length for a dress, it would be cute, I think. But I didn't like it. So in the video, you'll see I I actually took a seam ripper and I just took the edge off um, of the bottom and turned it into a shirt. And so now I have like this cute little crop top that I like. There's this little rip here, which I'll probably just go over with my sewing machine and fix. But that's pretty simple. Next beige thing, <laughs> literally everything's beige. Uh, next beige thing is this nice kind of linen-y, I don't even know what fabric this is. I just have been loving linen lately. It just feels really natural feeling. Uh, like I'm a peasant, like an old, I live in old times and you can only make things from linen and flower sacks and I don't know. <laughs> I told you, all my oversized shirts are like, beige and white so it's this super oversized shirt but i think it's gonna be super cute i really like to wear just my swimsuit and throw this on over over it you know those romantic comedies where they're in like italy or something and the guy is like walking with the girl trying to impress her and they're in the market and they've got their you know like linen clothes on <laughs> like, and the guy will like pick up random fruit and start juggling with it so I, yeah that's what i felt like when i was wearing this so Um, yeah, and then I dropped an avocado and bruised it, so that was good. <laughs> Already having adventures in this shirt. I think it'd be really good for Greece. I think I'm gonna have to recreate that scene that I just had in my head. My style, I really like to take kind of more fancy things, like this. This I would call pretty fancy. It's very, like, shiny and eye-catching. And then pair it with something that's, like, a little bit more casual. So, like, a jean or a pair of shorts and... Just kind of make this the one piece in the outfit that's like very classy and and shiny and eye-catching and you know like a little bit more upscale looking and then dress it down with a pair of shorts i, I guess that's kind of just how i explain my whole style honestly <laughs> again it's just a tank top so it's one of those things that's really easy to to you know just pull out of your closet and make a really simple outfit look put together and planned out which it has never planned out this thing, I actually really would never pick this up <laughs> um, if I was shopping normally. It kind of looks like an old lady shirt. There was a time where this would just repulse me and I don't know what went through my brain. I think I'd just been on Pinterest. By the way, my Pinterest is right here if you wanna look at it. But um, I was on my Pinterest and I had pinned something. Um, again, I think I'm just like entirely in summer mode all year round, because all I ever shop for is like when I'm on a beach. I just, every time I'm buying clothes, I'm like, oh, this will be super cute on the beach, even if it's like 10 feet of snow outside. So I actually, I had just pinned something where this girl was wearing like a swimsuit and something that was like a little bit more like crocheted and I saw this and I was like, oh, like crochet, it doesn't even matter what style the shirt is. So it's it's kind of ugly, but then I put it on and I was like, oh, I actually kind of like it. It's kind of cute. It pairs really well with the next white garment that I bought, which is a super old nightgown. I think it's like kind of a vintage nightgown. It's got a low drop waist and then it's like got a long skirt, which just, <laughs> there you go. Um, but it's got kind of like a lacy top, super cute. I've really been digging this kind of um, loose fabric lately. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about the drop waist, but I think if I just wear it and get used to it, 
I like it. Plus, once I put this thing on over it, it was actually super cute and I really liked it. So I think that's gonna be one of my basic outfits for this, this shirt. the first thing that's not oh besides the yellow thing i really like this kind of subtle pink subtle it's not super subtle because the whole thing's made out of it i really like this it's kind of like a rosy pink it's not like a abrasive pink it's like a rose tone it's just a full it goes like from your neck all the covers everything it's got this really simple like just clasp right there and it's got kind of an open open neck back which i think is really nice that the front is so covered and then the back it has this kind of like a super simple slit down it. The only thing I'm I'm questioning about this shirt is these open sleeves. Um, I really like the cuffs but I, I've just never been a fan of this like open sleeve thing. The only time I think that's appropriate is when it's on like a princess gown. <laughs> uh, and on this is just, it's just really weird because it doesn't really open and then occasionally like your skin will flash. I'm a pink person, so you know, my skin shows through here and it's like, what, wait, what's going on? Is her shirt open or did it rip or whatever? I'm not sure about the sleeves, so I might actually just cut them off and make short sleeves. found okay my sister is gonna kill me because I own like 20 trench coats but I found this one it's like it's a bit more fitted than some of the trench coats I found a lot of the trench coat trench a lot of the trench coats that I've found are like the straight ones which I really like um, because then you tie them and they cinch in but this one actually is already kind of cinched I like that it's got buttons so they're like they don't they're not going through any loops these ties on all my trench coats usually get really bent and and wrinkled and um, twisted up in the loops, but I actually really like how this hangs. So if you didn't want to tie it in the front, these just hang down and they're really nice and they look really, I don't know. <laughs> Last things I bought, which actually has some color, <laughs> is this guy. Uh, this this guy. Everything. Everything is guy. This just reminds me. Okay. So first off, the color reminds me of Easter, which it's like April right now, so Easter's coming up. Not that I'll be here for it, but it reminds me of like a little kid's coat from I don't know my years. Uh, you know, just like years ago in the past, like where little girls wore like little ringlets and hats and and then they would put on their little their little coat and and be buttoned up and it's got that kind of like straight long cut to it and then it kind of also reminds me of like a sailor's coat <laughs> just from these lapels and so I tried it on and it fit and I was like well I guess I gotta take it home the other fun thing about this coat is when you close it all the way it can close like this too so it closed all the way up and then you've just got this, which I really like. So now that I've showed you kind of my haul of clothing that's already done and that I like, now I wanted to show you all the fabrics that I got from the thrift store, which is considerable. <laughs> oh my god.